So in our previous lesson, we learned that the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And then we also learned that two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle of the third side. Now let's use that in mind and then solve the questions on the board. So in question one, we have EFH being a triangle and then FQK also being another triangle and then MHK being another triangle. Now the exterior angle created here, MKL, is equal to 130 degrees and we are asked to solve for the value of X. Now, from our previous lessons, we learned that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. Now, if we should consider the triangle EQH, the triangle EQH. Now, in triangle EQH, if I should draw triangle EQH, we realize that the angle for E is 40 degrees, and then Q is 85 degrees, and then for H, we don't know. So let's name H, let's say Y. Now let's solve for Y. Or let's solve for angle E, H, Q. So we can say that from this, the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. So in the first one, we can say that angle E, Q, H, angle E, Q, H plus angle um, EHQ, EHQ plus angle HEQ, HEQ is equal to 180 degrees. So our, what we use to support this is the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So with that in mind, let's fix the values in there. So angle EQH is giving us 85 degrees. So we have 85 degrees plus EHQ is what we are looking for. So angle EHQ plus angle HEQ. HEQ is also 40 degrees. It's equal to 180. So angle EHQ, angle EHQ will be equal to 180 minus 85 minus 40. So what is angle EHQ? So angle EHQ is so 55 degrees. Now, if angle EHQ is 55 degrees, it means this angle here is 55 degrees. Now, I have been able to solve for the interior angles of that triangle, the triangle EHQ. Now, we are solving for X. But we learned in our previous lesson that the sum of two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle of the third side. So we can say that this angle 40 plus this angle 85 is equal to this exterior angle here. Okay? So we can say that um, 85 plus 40 is equal to the exterior angle created at um, MHQ, angle MHQ. So angle MHQ is just this angle, okay? Or you can use angle EHQ. It's the same as the angle MHQ. They are the same. They are creating the same angle because EH is a straight line. So MHQ and EHQ is the same answer. Student. Now you can see that angle. The interior angle of 85 and 40 will give us the exterior angle created here. So 85 plus 40 is giving us 125. So angle MHQ is equal to 125 degrees. Now, if we know this as 125 degrees, okay, and we want X, we know the sum of interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. But we don't know this interior angle, okay? This angle, we don't know it. But we know that the sum of angles on a straight line. Okay? So what supports this answer? 85 plus 4 is sum of two interior angles 
is equal to the exterior angle of the third side of the third side so this is what supports 85 plus 40 equals to mhq so our mhq which is this angle is 125 so x plus 125 plus this angle should give us 180 which is the sum of interior angles but we know this angle but we don't know the inside angle here but we can get this angle by what if i have a straight line and i have this as x and this as y we are saying x plus y is equal to 180 sum of angles on a straight line so we can say that the angle here is what angle h k m so angle h k m angle h k m plus angle what is this angle m k l angle m k l is equal to 180 degrees then this is sum of angles sum of angles on a straight line on a straight line so if the sum of angles on a straight line add up to 180 straight line add up to 180 degrees so we have angle m k h or angle h k m plus angle m k l equals to what 180 so we shall have angle h k m angle h k m plus mkl is 130 is equal to 180 so angle hkm is equal to 180 minus 130 so angle hkm is equal to 50 degrees now if angle hkm is equal to 50 now this angle is giving us 50 degrees okay then this means that this angle plus this angle plus this angle will give us 180 okay so we can say angle x which is angle h m k plus this angle plus this will give us 180 or we couldn't have even done this we could have just said x plus 125 is equal to 130 which is two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle of the third side so i don't know that we can even clean this one. So one way of solving this is just using the sum of interior angles to get x. 50 plus 125 plus x is equal to 180. Or we couldn't have gone ahead to solve for the 50. And we just clean this. And then we just tell ourselves, if we don't know this angle, we know that the sum of two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle of the third side. So we can say that x plus 125 is equal to 130 degrees so we use the same principle the sum of two interior angles which is this same theorem sum of two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle of the third side exterior angle of the third side so we can say x will be equal to 130 minus 125. So our x is equal to 5 degrees. Thank you, students. Until we meet again next time. Bye. Bye. Oh.